This is a video about Python, the programming language. Here is a program that we did earlier, and we're going to revise it now by going over what it does. So just to remind you, Python is a programming language which has a lot of code which tells the computer what to do. So this example, this code, this line here says print. That's telling the computer to print something, and it will print the words discount calculator, in other words, this string of characters, it will print them on the screen. All these uh, thing, all these lines with hashes on them, they're comments. They are ignored by Python, just like it says there. And they're just there for us to remember what we were doing when we made the program. So we call that annotating the program. So the very first command that the computer will follow is print. The next thing we're doing is because this is actually a program that calculates discount on the price of something, is we need to find out what is the cost of the item that we're talking about and what percentage discount it is. So this program is going to calculate the discount. So just here we're inputting a number, or it's actually going to be typed in so it won't be a number, because remember with programming languages the way we store them is important, and in Python if I input something, it's stored as a string. So in this program, s cost is a variable that I've made up to use with this program, and cost means it's going to store the cost of something, and s means it's a string. So the way input works is this line of um, this string of characters is put on the screen. The computer then sits and does nothing, and or sits and waits, because it's not never doing nothing, is it? It sits and waits for you to type something and press enter or return. When you do that, whatever you've typed will be stored in this variable. The next line of code also inputs. So the computer will stop and wait after putting this on the screen, this string. What percentage discount is it? Wait for us to press enter or return, and then take whatever we've typed and stick it into this variable here called s percent. So it assigns what we've typed and places it into the variable. So by the time we get to this line here, which is another a comment, we will have written discount calculator on the screen. We will have written type what the cost of the item is on the screen and, and would have typed in the cost. The program will have written what percentage discount is it, and then waited for us to type in what the percent is. The next thing to do is then to actually do some calculations, but you can't calculate using strings. You have to turn them into numbers. So remembering, of course, that in programming languages, numbers and strings are stored differently, and you can do when you do something to them like add them, that, that works differently. So. This line here is taking the string that we've typed for the cost and turning it into a number using the float function. So this variable s cost will have a, some typing in it, and it should be typed as a number, and will be turned into actually a number in storage. So while it will look like a number when we type it, it's actually stored as, as typing, as writing, not as a number, it has to be converted into a number. This line here will take the percent that we typed in up here and convert it into a number as well. So you notice that when I'm naming the variables where we're storing these things, s cost is s for the string cost, and f cost is f for floating point cost. That's just so we can remember that this one is where the string is stored, and that's one where the floating point number is stored. And a floating point number is just a decimal number. The next line is calculating the actual discount. The discount is calculated by multiplying the, cons, the cost by the percent and dividing by 100. That will then be put into this new variable called f discount, And this will be a number as well because all of these things over here are numbers. So when you do operations on numbers like multiply, which is this is the multiply for computers, and divide, the number state, uh, all these numbers will be combined and produce a number which can then be stored in here. 
The last thing we need to do is actually show our answers. So I'm going to print on the screen, you save plus string F discount. F discount is how much we're saving. It gets turned into a string. And when you add strings, it's not like adding in subtraction, adding in mathematics. The strings are joined together to make a longer string. So let's see how this works. I'm going to press F5 and see it go through its paces. So here we go. The first thing that it's actually saying is it's typing discount calculator on the screen. It's saying, what's the cost? So I'm going to say $100. Let's keep it simple. Press enter. It goes to the next part of the program. What percentage discount is it? Let's make it 10% so we can check it easily. So press 10 and press enter. Um, and it gives me the calculations. You save um, $10 and you pay $90. So this simple program enables us to actually calculate the discount fairly rapidly, but it's not the best way to actually write a program. We're going to be looking at object-oriented programs later, but for now, it's just an easy way to do something that's quite simple.